Hey, good boss, Mufasa, it's Brendan back with another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be covering the two lenses that I use for pretty much all of my weddings, which is a 24 millimeter and a 50 millimeter lens. With these two lenses, it can cover pretty much all of your weddings. And once you start building up your kit, you can add more lenses, but when you're first getting started, these two lenses will have you covered. Now there's a huge debate as to whether or not you should be using prime lenses or zoom lenses. Now when I was first starting out, I started out with some prime lenses and throughout like the middle of my wedding career, I started using zoom lenses, which is the most popular is a 24 to 70 and a 70 to 200 lens. Now the reason why I switched over to prime lenses is because there is a huge differentiation between a 24 millimeter and a, in this case, I'm using the Sony Zeiss 55 millimeter. It creates two different looks. So so if you're a follower of this channel, you'll know that I use two camera bodies for an entire wedding using my hold fast, my moneymaker strap. I use two cameras because like if one breaks, I have a backup. And on those two cameras, I have two lenses, which is the 24 and the 55 Sony lenses. There, when you have a 24 and a 55, it really creates a big differentiation in your photos. You have a wide angle lens and then your 55 kind of covers your, you know, portrait also. So let's talk really quickly about the 20 24 millimeter lens or the 24 millimeter focal length when you're first starting out. When I first started out, I used to use the 35 millimeter lens. When I first started, first started getting out, I had a 35 and an 85 as my telephoto side. And the issue that I would have is when you're doing the bride prep and when you're getting ready uh, in the morning and stuff, you usually find yourself in a hotel room or in a makeup salon and it gets very cramped when you're in there and it gets very hard to get like these full body, full wide shots when you're kind of stuck in the corner. And I felt like with a 35, even if I would back up all the way into the corner, I could still not do a very good like establishing shot uh, on the wedding day and the 24 gives you just enough range like wide angle view it's not super wide where everything gets distorted um if you don't put like obviously if you don't put your like you know your couples or you put people on the edges uh you won't get that kind of distortion but it, it's still wide enough where you can get establishing shots or in my case i like to do a lot of like these epic type of shots where you you know we use off-camera flash uh we dim the ambient light and make it real moody um, in those instances i'm usually on a 24 lens just to kind of make sure that i get a really wide shot showing the clouds and showing you know the environment um, and using off-camera flash to kind of pop our subject out in the photo and if you're getting value from this video don't forget to like and subscribe hit the bell notification so you can be notified anytime i post a video the thing about prime lenses is that they tend to have a more wider aperture so this sony lens goes to 1.4 and the thing is about wedding days is you are you find yourself um, in a lot of changing environments like uh, as far as lighting is concerned. One minute you're in the bright sunlight, the next minute you're in a church that's very dimly lit and having prime lenses that open up really big, lets in a lot of light to your sensor is pretty important. And the last thing I wanna to touch on in this on a 24 lens is I like to use this on the dance floor and I like to get really nice up and close to people. It gives a like very different field of view, especially during reception and stuff. When you get really close to people with a 24 millimeter lens, it really gives you a perspective like that you're there when you're viewing the photos. And this forces you to move around because this doesn't have any zoom capabilities on it. So you can't zoom in and out with the prime lens and so if you want to zoom in you have to zoom in with your feet you have to move closer to your subject you have to move further away from your subject what have you and that also creates different perspectives on your photos and so that's why i really like prime lenses because it really forces you to move it forces you to be creative as opposed to a 24 to 70. here's another lens that i really like and i really enjoy which is the 55 zeiss now i did a comparison previously on my channel where i compared this to the new sony 50 if you want to check that out i'll put the link up there in the description this little lens i like it for a lot of reasons and why i don't go with the 50. now the 50 the g master is uh, way better than this lens like as far as like the sharpness it's a little bit sharper a little bit the bokeh is a little bit cleaner uh, the fall off is a little bit cleaner however it's like twice the size of this little 50 lens and on a wedding day uh, I tend to like more smaller compact lenses because you're carrying your gear Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> having a lightweight lens like this 
is, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of something to consider. And if you don't shoot Sony, even when you're looking at lenses on for other camera manufacturers, having a lightweight lens uh, might outweigh just a lens that's just slightly sharper, that has slightly nicer bokeh, maybe has a slightly wider aperture. For me, I tend to err on the side of more lightweight setups, which is, you know, why we switched to mirrorless cameras, you know, a couple years ago. The 55 Zeiss is great because it's still a good focal length to walk around, and it's still a good focal length where you can still do portraits, you can still do close-ups of people, and you still get enough compression, and it's a 1.8 aperture, so you get that blurry, nice little background. It's still wide enough for me to step back and get wide shots and just gives a different perspective. Throughout the years, I've also gotten more comfortable about getting closer to people and putting my camera in front of people um, at a closer distance. Now, if you're somebody that's a little bit more introverted, maybe going to an 85 millimeter or a 105 millimeter and maybe like a 35 millimeter as your wide angle lens is a good option if you're not comfortable yet getting close to people. But for me, um, I want to get close to people. I want to put the camera on people's faces and get those candid moments of people. Um, and that's kind of just the style that I've kind of adapted. Now, the last lens that I want to talk about here is the 70 to 200. Now, I do use this lens still. Whenever doing photo and video, um, and we get Steven and Oscar with us like on a wedding day, uh, I try not to get in their shots. Like they always make fun of me. They're, I'm notorious for getting in people's shots and frames because I have a 24 and a 50 and I have to tend to, I tend to have to get a lot closer to people. So the only time I use this lens is during the ceremony when we have the tripod set up around the church and I can't get into the, like a certain point of the church because I'm gonna be in the people's shots. I use a 7200 to kind of get closer. It gives me that range. And then you can also go into like crop sensor mode, which helps kind of zoom in a little bit more. Crops in on the sensor, gives you like, you know, 10 to 12 megapixels. I don't use macro lenses. I don't use like specialty lenses, like tilt shift lenses and all that stuff. I find that the less gear that I have to bring for photography, uh, you know, the better. Um, my flashes are minimal. Everything's very minimalistic uh, when it comes to photography. So uh, I always recommend people getting a 24 and a 50 because um, it really forces you to get out of your comfort zone, get really close to people, and gives you a great perspective when your photos are there. This is a widely debated topic amongst like wedding photographers in general, uh, but that's just my take on it. Everyone has their own take and everyone's comfortable doing what they wanna do. You can do whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna do me, you do you, but this is just my perspective and my take on photography lenses and the only two lenses that you need to shoot a wedding, so. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.